I'm planting. What are you going to plant? What are those called? I don't even know. You don't even know, but you want to plant them? Yeah, but I found an earwig. You found an earwig. Okay. You know what they're called? They're called green beans. Green, green beans. beans. So awesome. Okay. So, where did you put the other two? Hmm? Right here? Okay. Put another one there. And so this is Axel's uh, green beans. And Axel is going to be the one to water them. Watch out. And to make sure that they're growing. Huh, Axel? Mm -hmm. Yep. Watch out. Watch your feet. You don't need, yep, just cover it. I keep finding earwitch. Mommy died in. Which one is the twin? So this is what he's going to grow. Right here. He's right here. And these take about 58 days. 58 days? 58 days and then... They go. You'll have green beans. And they sprout 6 to 12 days. So it's the 10th. So we'll come check back in a couple days, right? To see, make sure that they've grown. Yep. Yep. can't see it. And now we ripped it in half. Alright, so before I get started with my video for the day, just want to say welcome everybody to part three of getting the backyard ready. Um, Axel has decided to plant his own set of um, things, green beans, and he was in a rush, so I couldn't um, take him yet to go pick out the seeds that he wanted. Um, but he decided to do green beans. But today, I have these peas that I'm going to start planting up against the fence area. And um, I already I had things growing up against there last last year so everything should be the soil should be good enough to plant the peas and these peas I don't know I'll probably just take them just to use them as more cover crops later on um, but they won't be I'm not growing them for um, to eat I just really like the way they look when they're growing and plus they're gonna cover up the vine, the fence area so that we have some sense of privacy in our backyard so that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do a long video today because it's hot outside today and I don't want my camera to explode or to overheat so that's what I'm gonna get ready to do got my my peas in here I'm gonna see if I can convince the kids to help me plant the peas so here we go Look at the soil. It looks really good. Just got to dig up the grass and everything in there, but it's breaking up easy.
not giving me too big of a, too much of a hard time doing it, but we had that. We had, um, what did I have in this spot last year? I had tomatoes up along the fence. I had, um, watermelons, cantaloupes, uh, there were a couple of things in this area. A lot of it didn't, um, like tomatoes did really good here. So we're going to see how the, uh, the cover crops do in this area. But, look at that. Don't want to step in those. All right. from the rosemary plant all the way to oh no probably right there yes. is that's a good enough spot I'm gonna put the chit -chit inside. as long as you're not going to use it to cut anything I'm not Yeah, I know. You can turn the water holes on and, and, and wet it to help it, but... Alright, let me grab the rest of my... Whoa, 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 whoa! What? So, I have my bucket. I'm going to... Once I wet the ground, the cover crops are gonna go here. On well, my peas, I'm gonna start them here. That's a good space for peas, right? Yeah. Oh, we are crooked. Yeah, that's a good space. Good spot for good enough space to cover up from from here all the way to where Anaya is. Plus there's a stick over there which you can't really see but right there to there. And then I guess I have enough room where she is like right behind her to her the left of her to do another raised bed right there. So I'll probably be cultivating that area down just to kill off that grass. Yeah, I could put two because uh, the sunflowers, the trout, there's a chicken wire. We're going to use chicken wire to use as a, um, a trellis. And then there's another raised bed over there. And then I can probably put one more raised bed on that side. And then thinking, what am I going to do with this? Because I have the cleanest spot up. This spot here. Rosemary. Can't tell if that's in focus or not. Um, it's a little weedy, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. And then I might just grow more sage and um, and rosemary up in there, along there. And then this is our pumpkin. This is where we're gonna put our pumpkin patch at. So I figured. Stop it. Figured. This should be this little area right here. Should be enough space, I guess. And then if the pumpkin vines just grow really big, I'm like, they can grow either way. So 
We'll see. And then I got more rape bed ideas and everything. So, that's what we're doing. And then, yeah, so I have, I have ideas for this backyard. I have this idea. I woke up with this idea to um, make like a, another sunflower kind of um, entrance where we have the stepping stones set and I could clear a path and make that flowers around there and, and I think it would be really cute to kind of turn this area into my secret garden um, and I'm trying to get my kids involved with this idea too I haven't told them this yet but I'm trying to get them involved in, in gardening things idea is to have flowers that grow up on a vine and basically put them in that area have them grow over the trellis and that's like our walkway into it so if I'm gonna do that I really got to get started with it because I, mean, I really got to get started all right so this is the area that I'm talking about the bricks start right there where the chicken wire is and I'm going to cultivate this whole area up until where the dirt starts and then I'm going to plant flowers along the edges of it and I want to get another trellis and just grow everything over the trellis and you know have it look this is you know my walkway into my garden and I'm trying to since I'm going to be here in this this area for at least not even a year but you know close to it I want to make the best of it and that is my plan making the best of where I'm at but all right hope you enjoyed this this video hope you enjoyed the last two videos um and we're excited to see where things are going to go from here to now and then it'll be exciting to see where the transformation of transformation of the backyard from the moment we moved in here to the moment that we leave. That is going to be something to see. But until next time, I love you.